I'm Blythe Barbo from Barbolian Fields and we're going to install a package of bees today into our War A hive. This is my third package I've installed. The first one, uh, I installed four pounds of bees last year and they did not make it through the winter. And then I also caught a small swarm and installed it last summer and, and it made it through um, strong. It's, it's a very strong hive now. It's, uh, it was a small colony but it's doing well now. In fact the bees are buzzing everywhere around here today. It is April 16th, a sunny day, um, only 33 degrees last night so it's about 3 in the afternoon. I waited until the temperature climbed up to about 50 degrees. A little breezier than I had hoped for but um, we get a lot of wind here so it's not unexpected. So here's what we have in getting ready for the hive. We have the, um, I'm going to install them in two boxes this time. Um, and we have um, in the boxes, I have uh, sprayed the boxes lightly with a one-to-one -one sugar syrup, sugar water syrup, and that has a little bit of spearmint and um, lemongrass oil added to it, make the hive smell nice. The top bars, on the Wari Hive have this triangle on here to make it easy for them to build their comb and this is painted with beeswax. Um, I happened when I took apart the hive that didn't make it there was a comb inside completely built. Isn't this beautiful? Let me hold this up and see if we can see it. Um, there's no honey or, or any larvae or anything in it. It's just a, an empty comb started um, and so I thought I would put that in the hive to give them a head start and to make it look like home. So there we go. One thing that this shows you too is that they started building on one side of the triangle and then they finished up on the other side. It's a really sturdy construction and it makes it easier for them to build how they like. So I really like those uh, triangles on the, on the bars. On the top here is the quilt. I have it filled with leaves and sawdust combination uh, to absorb extra moisture. We're going to set that aside here for a moment. Okay. Also on hand, we have, uh, after we get them installed, we're going to put some jars of syrup on top and feed them for a while until they can get going. And this is just, again, one-to-one -one sugar, water, and um, a little bit of spearmint and and lemongrass oil added in. And I just tip them upside down on this. This is a nylon screen to uh, make sure that they stay inside the hive. I had the experience before of putting this on the top bars and then they got inside the box. It will be surrounded by a feeder box and they got inside that and they built comb all over the place. So it was kind of a mess. So we're going to try to avoid that this time. Also handy, we have uh, a feather that um, acts as a, as a bee brush. It's a little, gent little gentler in my opinion. We have our hive tool. Um, I have a board, a couple of different boards to block the hole of the, of the bee when we put them in, of the, of the uh, bee cage, excuse me. Let's see, in this jar, I have marshmallows in case we need that to block the queen cage to, to, when we take out the cork. I really don't like using marshmallows because they're made with corn syrup, which I'm pretty sure is GMO corn, but I don't know of an option if someone out there in the audience can tell me a better way, that'd be great. I'm reluctant to just set her free in there, she uh, hasn't been with the bees that long. There are also some tacks in here, a nail, a screw, things that we might need to pry things open. Uh, and I also have a pocket knife handy. Okay, so let's get this ready to go. Um, I'll just put on my bee hat and gloves. Hold on here just a moment. My bee suit is kind of a makeshift thing. It's just basically rain gear. <laughs> but I did splurge and get a bee helmet. And there are a lot of bees flying around here today. They're, they're loving this weather. I frequently go out here in the bees and don't use this. So, it's just clumsy, if you know what I mean. And I don't think that they're a real threat to me at this point because they don't have a hive to defend. 
However, there are a lot of bees flying around and there's going to be some confusion in this process. So I'm going to uh, just take a few precautions. I bought some new gloves. These are nitrile gloves. I don't know. Again, I don't know how necessary they are. Gloves would be, it'd be easier to do without gloves, quite frankly. I think gloves are another thing that are just clumsy. Okay, in here I have another of uh, the solution of the sugar water syrup, one to one. Let's see how our bees are doing. I have them in here. I've had them in our, in our uh, shop overnight. It was quite cold. I covered them with towels and just a little cover in the box. Uh, we picked these up on Saturday morning and today is Monday. So I was a little bit concerned about them. There are a few dead ones on the bottom. I see those were they were there before. They've come from Oregon. There are a few hitchhikers on the outside. Um, I was worried that they might starve, but I sprayed them with a little of the sugar water and they seem to be okay. Okay, I've been spraying them with the sugar water yeah, about once every hour or so getting ready for this today, just to give them a little extra. Not very much. You know, I... Quite beautiful. Just a few sprays. I knocked over the sugar syrup. Okay, here we go. Um, hive tool. First step is to pry out the can and have a board ready to cover it. I have read various. I, I'm. I don't like the idea of shaken bee syndrome, where you shake the bees into the box. So I've done a lot of reading to see how other people do it. And uh, some people just sit the box down inside the hive, which works if you have a Lang hive that fits the dimensions of this box. However, we do not. The war A's are our smaller dimension. You could tip it on its side and let the bees crawl out. Gosh, this thing is not coming out very easily. It's the hole is almost too big where the can is almost going to fall inside. Okay. Alrighty, bees are out. I can't avoid it. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Tilted it on its side. That worked. All right. Now we have to get out the queen, and they just keep trying to come out. I think they're appreciative of the sunshine and the fresh air. That would be my guess. Move there, little girl. Here's the queen cage. We'll see if we can get that one up. Okay, so the cage is not coming out. There we go. Here comes the cage. Wow. Okay. Well, this is good news. Um, here we go. Let's see if we can show this to the camera. This is good news. I think this means that they love their queen. So I'm going to nail this into the cage if I can do it without dropping it. And this is open now and so everybody's coming out. Try to close it up. Everybody's trying to squeeze out into the sunshine. There we go. Okay, I'm glad I put on the gloves. I'm not totally comfortable with lots of bees being on my hands. Okay, we gotta look, we gotta figure out where the cork is here, don't we? So we have to brush the bees off. Let's see what's going on. Interesting thing is, is they're not flying up my sleeve and they're not stinging me through the nitrile. Nitrile. Okay, the cork fell out somewhere. We're going to block it now with... I have not even seen the queen yet. I'm assuming she's in there and fine. So, we're going to block this with the marshmallow. And the marshmallow is sticky. 
you know, all these YouTube videos that show how everything goes so smoothly. I love it. All right, so there we go. It's it's more or less stuck in there. I still can't see her. They're just they're everywhere. Let's see. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh my goodness. She's in there, she's alive, and she looks strong. And they love her. That's very cool. Look out there, little guy. There are no attendants inside there. I'm putting the marshmallow down. Alrighty, the cage is in there. For better or for worse. I'm thinking. Nope, there we go. That's good enough. Alrighty. Okay, good job. Now, the next thing to do is, um, is to release the bees into the hive with her. And what I would like to do is, instead of shaking them through the hole, I would like to open it up and take the hive apart. And I'm going to see if I can do that and then just gently dump them in. Because the whole shaking them through a tiny hole just does not make sense to me. It's just a little too violent. So we'll see if we can pry this apart. We're going to try to take this off. Oh, great. Now they're just going to all start coming out. Yeah, okay. It looks like dumping them is what we're going to have to do. It's, uh, they're coming out on their own and So, here we go. Just right in there. This is probably the most botched job you've ever seen. Okay. And while this is happening, to take off the screen, there's just no way that I can see to take apart this box without them all coming out and going crazy. So we're just going to go with that. This is what happens when you take apart the hive, the box, the package box. Oops. And now we're just going to gently dump them in there, right? There they go. Better. This, this way I don't hit anybody. 